Hi guys, if you read the topic of the opinion essay and you've got strong feelings about it, then you should probably go for it. In this video, I'll give you some advice on how to go about it successfully. The main aim of an opinion essay is to say what you think or how you feel about a topic and to give reasons or arguments to persuade the reader that you're right. When planning your writing, structure is key, as organizing your essay according to the exam rubrics will help you get up to 1.5 marks out of 4. Your essay should have 4 paragraphs, the first one being an introduction, the second and third giving arguments to support your opinion, and the fourth one to close. The introductory paragraph should clearly establish the topic to be discussed, grab the reader's attention, and invite them to continue reading. And it must provide your opinion on the issue. In order to illustrate the language you can use, we'll take the opinion essay of September 2020 as an example. The topic then was governments should impose higher taxes on fast food. You can grab the reader's attention by asking a rhetorical question. If we impose taxes on cigarettes and alcohol, should we not do the same with fast food? And then introduce the topic. It is often argued that those eating fast food ought to pay higher taxes. Now, give your opinion on the issue. And I could not agree more. And expand on your view. I strongly believe that doing so would encourage people to have a healthier diet and it would also raise revenue for the government which might be spent on healthcare. After the introduction you need to write two fully developed paragraphs to support your viewpoint including relevant facts, details and examples to justify your opinion. You may want to introduce your first arguments like this. It goes without saying that people tend to eat fast food as it is quite cheap to buy. Then give some details and finish your paragraph by illustrating your arguments with an example. Here you can talk about yourself or someone you know. Make sure you start your third paragraph making use of a connector to show that you'll follow the same line of thought. In addition to this, it is clear the hefty taxes on fast food would lead to additional funding for the government to invest in treating obesity as well as other health conditions. And after this, proceed like you did with the previous paragraph. Finally, to close your essay, you should restate your opinion but in a deeper way in using new words. If possible, summarize the main arguments that led you to think like that and include a call to action, a phrase to tell the reader exactly what to do and encourage them to do so. To sum up, charging a high tax on fast food would no doubt help the government discourage people from eating it and raise money for healthcare. I am convinced this measure is a total win-win, so if you care for your people and their health, do not let yourself be fooled by those who discredit this legal initiative. As for the use of English, the fewer mistakes, the better your marks. Make sure you use structures you feel confident with, but also try and show an ambitious use of language um, with more complex ones. Try and include a wide variety of words and phrases related to the topic. And last but not least, before you hand in your test, read again and pay attention to your spelling, punctuation and capitalization. Do not use contracted forms in this type of essay. So, in a nutshell, this is the key to success. Follow the structure I gave you. Introduction, where you give your opinion, two supporting paragraphs, and a closing paragraph to rephrase your viewpoint. Stick to your opinion. Do not change your mind as you write. Read again to polish your language and make sure you make no spelling or punctuation mistakes. Remember, you're expected to write from 150 to 175 words. Keep up the good work, because as they say, practice makes perfect. Bear this in mind, and I'm sure you'll pass your test with flying colors. And that was all for the opinion essay. See you guys soon for another cup of Ebao English.